see the whole video? Apparently not. Why don't you go fire yourself? Who are you talking to? The mayor. That's who. Why? Why'd you know? Because he condemned the kids. Well, they didn't do anything. What do you think they did? Are you all here for the protest? Would you mind if I ask you a couple questions? Who are you with? Um, I have a YouTube channel, Drone Tech Politics. Okay. Yeah, my daughter and my son are with the Green Nation. And this is Isaac Gabona. And what nation are you with? I'm with the Cricket and Hyder Tribe of Alaska. Okay. Awesome. And we uh, we have a website, Indigenous Kentucky, we, uh, on Facebook. Mm -hmm. So we're we're uh, we're trying to get the state of Kentucky. It's a bigger problem mm -hmm. to um, hire an enrolled Indigenous person because okay. right now there are uh, Caucasians speaking for Indigenous people in Kentucky. Okay, I'd like to see that change, but. Okay. Um, with what's just happened, um, you're welcome to ask. The yeah, I was just wondering uh, what, in just in your guys' words, what you know, what you're here for, what you're protesting against. I think it's just important to stand up for what you believe in, mm -hmm. and you know, we've got a lot of people here right now, and I feel like it's just it's a good thing for us to be here and be supportive. Yeah, I agree. You definitely should be out and let your voice be heard. Did you guys? I mean, were you out here as a direct result of what happened at, in Washington? And, I mean, what do you guys think, I mean, what happened there that, that you're angry about? Um, the kids, like how they were treating the native elders, and just like, like how they came with like the hats on, and they're just very aggressive, mm -hmm. and it was just really inappropriate. Okay. Um, did you happen to see like the whole video, like the two hour clip, or, or the two hour video, or? I've seen multiple videos, because I know that people say that there's different perspectives. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think regardless, I don't think that was it. Okay. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. He says we stop but too. is that? Yeah, can't no, actually prove something. Protest, okay, it's not the same then. Are you aware that some of the natives were yelling racial stuff out to the to the so stu kids? The I I haven't heard or seen any of it. On, the students were an Where's the video of it? I've looked. The Facebook page that announced this did make that claim, but they didn't post any videos. Yes, they did. I, I looked. I didn't see it. There were clear videos of the group earlier, not an hour earlier, not an hour earlier. So where, are, where can we find those videos? On the internet. I mean, I searched for it. I couldn't find it. Video of them supposedly saying racial, the students saying racial things, but I have not seen it. But is it okay if it happens to a person? Yes. Then that's hypocrisy. It's the definition of hypocrisy. So, you can say, you can say whatever you want. I was at Trump's inauguration, and I faced off Antifa, and the Antifa guy said, we're all hypocrites, it's just we're hypocrites for the right side. So when you're convinced your side is right, you Do you think the media messed up at all? I mean, those kids are getting death threats and stuff now. Yeah. That's true. So, but I bet you you were complaining it's, when it's the organizers came on. It's the priest. It's the priest's fault that sponsored the event. Well, they the event was just the pro-life event. They were just waiting for a bus to pick them up. That's why. That's why the numbers gathered over time. Well, they were waiting on a bus, and then the kids started to gather at the point where they were supposed to meet. No, no, no. He came up to them. Well, he walked into it. He walked into it. He could have just gone around and kept going, and he didn't. So. Well, he's the adult, though. Exactly. I, I had the same question. So why are you guys here? Just in your own words. I'm sorry, who are you with? I have a YouTube channel, Drone Tech Politics. Uh, we're here to say some prayers and to sing some songs for uh, 
uh, the incident that took place. Uh, we come from praying people, so uh, that's the answer and the key to any situation. So that's why we're here. And what, I mean, what was the incident? Like what, how do you perceive what happened there? Um, it was an incident that um, that gave the opportunity for people to open their eyes up to what is going on in America, what's going on in the country, and especially what's going on to our indigenous people. Mm -hmm. And uh, so do you, you think the kids did something wrong, that they were wrong in what they did? Absolutely. I mean, that's evidence. Can't and you, you, the you've right seen the full, see you've seen the, the full video also? Yeah. Okay. And well, what, what what's the end then? Like, what happened that you are object to? Um. So these kids surrounded, mocked, humiliated, intimidated an elder, and completely disrespected him. Well, how they how did they intimidate him? I, I mean, if our group surrounded you and chanted at you right now. It would be into, it would be an intimidation tactic. Well, I mean that's a pretty common thing in protests too, isn't it? I mean, no. I've I've seen a ton of protests, ton of videos, and like if if I were to go to like um, an anti-Trump protest and I wore like a MAGA hat or something, I'd probably be surrounded and screamed at. And not any anything. It would be a lot worse than what happened the other day in Washington. I mean, don't you think? <clears throat> Do you think that? Have you seen the video of the kid that was in the stare down? How he was trying to like get people to calm down? Did you see that? I'm, I'm not over okay. I, 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 oh no, I'm just curious. I'm just wondering if you saw that. That's all. Because it just it kind of brings context in it that he wasn't a hateful. He, and also, like you obviously have an opposing side. In our, our goal here today is to meet with the Archdiocese mm -hmm. and to have a conversation. They have never reached out to any of us, including Nathan Phillips, mm -hmm. and made any kind of apology. So. Okay. Well, thank you. I do appreciate it. ...with all people of color, not just us. Now we're going to have a prayer. We have our drummer come up and we'll make a prayer. But thank you all for coming. I'm very proud today. We've done a great job. How do you feel about Nathan Phillips' group telling the kids to go back to Europe? It wasn't Nathan Phillips. It's on video. It's on That's video. That's not true. It is. That's it's on the two-hour video. No, I said it's a guy in Nathan Phillips' group. Oh. <laughs> I think there's a lot of recording equipment. That's not what you said. It is. I was recording it, too, so I could show you. So what did the kids do that you find so objectionable? I don't think anybody should harass Nathan Phillips, that's all. What? How did they harass him? They danced around him, they did parody music. I'm sorry. It's not you, sir. Thank you. Having a hard time hearing. Yes. There's actually a prayer that's about to start. Okay. That's ridiculous. Lots of people tell me to fuck off. <laughs> Are you like an actual medic? Yeah. What are you a uh, medic for? Um, I was in the army, now I'm an activist medic. Cool. Thank you. I'll ask, I'll ask. You guys interested in answering any questions? Uh, what kind of questions you got? Hmm, just general what your opinion is about all this and... Uh, well... I, you guys with Antifa by any chance? Um, uh, uh, I'm not going to answer any questions like that. Okay, that's cool. Um, yeah, just what your... Well, well, we're just here to support people that um, <laughs> shouldn't have the same rights as us and anybody else. So, really, it's how you take it. Uh, just, you know, be kind. You yeah. Know, if I'm leaving a message with this you know, video you're making, then just be kind. Jeez. All right, thank you, sir. Appreciate it.
Hey, would you guys be answer interested in answering any questions? No. No? All right, thank you. I'm sorry? Um, he's here with a Native American organization, and they're protesting what happened in Washington over the weekend. It's it's a complicated thing, but basically, uh, some kids were there for a pro-life demonstration, and they were waiting on a bus when some uh, black Israelites started yelling a bunch of racial stuff at them, and uh, they got kind of whipped into a frenzy. That's not what happened. <laughs> Have you guys seen the video, the whole two-hour video? Yes, I, I unfortunately listened And you didn't see black Israelites yelling racial crap at the kids? Black people can't be racist to white people. And why is that? Yeah. Aren't they just people like everybody else? Yeah, they don't have the power to enforce that shit. Yeah. But the, really, the media, the media came down pretty hard on those kids. That's a lot of power. Five of them. Yeah. I already have. I interviewed a bunch, a bunch of them already. Okay, then you're good. They were real respectful. Oh, American and, people. I'm American too. Absolutely. We all are. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys with Antifa? Why the masks? I'm cold. Is it an intimidation tactic or are you guys here to intimidate kids? So the kid, they're saying the kids were racist, but because uh, a Native American man named Nathan Phillips marched up in the middle of this and started banging his drum, and one of the kids stood there while he banged the drum in his face. He didn't do or say anything, but everybody's really upset about it for some reason. Yeah. And so that's why that's why we're here now. Basically, the media put out like a six-second snippet of video, and then later put out the whole more context to it. And but the damage had already been done, and like a lot of people here still believe that something really bad happened when really it was not really anything. No. If I if I were to show up here with a MAGA hat, I'd probably be surrounded by Antifa people. It's me. On the on the bad guy. <laughs> Where are you? You have a reporter? Uh, I have a YouTube channel. What channel do you get? It's called Drone Tech Politics. Oh. <laughs> the, yeah, that's what this is all about. Like so, so the kids go to Covington. Yeah. So that's why they're here. Okay, yeah, the, so basically the kids have been getting death threats and all this other stuff. And after the media put out the full story, which kind of dialed it back, these folks are still kind of going with the original story. And so it's like they don't care what the truth is. They're going to continue. Make you know. it Right, exactly. There's always some. Yeah. In Kentucky and Cincinnati. <laughs> Have a good day, man. Telling kids to go back to Europe is not diffusing. Here. No, your family. Here. No. I'm from here. Who is the first Native American tribe in, in America? She's spewing ignorance and hate. But you are too, to us? No, I'm not, though. I'm just trying to correct the ignorance and hate. Are you here to threaten me? Oh, here we go. Let people talk. That's what a dialogue is. Well, yeah, it's shouting into a crowd is not dialogue, though. That's what you're doing, literally right now. Well, I have to get a word in. Someone just got to say it, or else nobody... Are we not going to acknowledge that at all? So many people are saying that. They weren't at first, though. The media was telling a, another story, weren't they? Don't shout into a crowd while someone's trying to talk. Don't worry, there's plenty of coverage over Yeah, I know. Drone Tech Politics, you can find me there. I'm a scumbag? Why? You're racist. I'm not a, dude, I'm not a racist. You're racist. I'm not. I hate racism. I hate racism. Sure you do. I do. You're doing just what that kid did. What? The kid stood there, silent. Yeah, you're trying to obstruct. You're doing worse. You're interrupting us. You're worse. Why don't you guys want to talk about inconvenient facts? Okay. 
I've got a crowd going now. I'm anti-fascist, anti-racist, pro-native. You wanna you wanna talk a little bit on camera? Why are you defending a bunch of preppy Catholic kids when they're well, surrounding a Native American war hero saying build the Is world. he a war hero? I know I'm not I'm not up on the facts on that, but I think that's in dispute. I, I don't really care about that. That's not here nor there. I don't think. But they're shouting "build the wall" at somebody who's literally. So I've heard that. I've heard that reported, but I've not seen a single shred of evidence of it. Have you? Watch the video. Like I have. I watched the whole like two-hour video. Right. Do you know what that was about? They have a school chant, like a sports chant, and when the black Israelis were yelling, spewing all that crap at them, they did that. As a means of like not fighting, but they were trying to like. They're shouting at anybody they see. Is and like what do they call blood. that? What do they call that cheer? They call that a sumo cheer. I saw that video too. No. That's cultural appropriation in and of itself. You're not winning any. Well, everybody's culturally appropriating something, right? It's a melting pot that we live in here, right? Anyway, I'm not a scumbag, dude. I'm not. I'm just someone who sees it differently, I guess. Yeah, I'll say what doesn't de-escalate is banging. I mean, do you think it's okay for an adult to bang a drum in a kid's face like that? They all walked up and surrounded him. Well, no, he walked up to them. Have you seen the two-hour video, dude? You see them come down the stairs and, like, literally get up in his face. It's like they were there first. Well, look, these kids were set upon from the very beginning. While they were being, and, and you can say that he marched in there to de-escalate. De top of the stairs. Look, look, they're saying he went in there to de-escalate. You need to listen a little more. Right. Unfortunately, you like to have your own protest, you can go get a, a permit like these people did and have your own. Okay. Then people would, if well, I thought it was listen, a discussion. They could listen to you, but they're not here to listen to you. Okay. And you're talking loud enough that I can barely well, hear you, people out here listening. They're screaming. You can easily hear them. Well, they're here to do this, and you're not here. 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 You're Alright, fair, fair enough. Hey, I'm supposed to speak next. Okay, I'll shut up for you. No, 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 no. <laughs> what I was going to say is, I want to introduce you and give you a chance to speak. I want, I, I know you're over here and you have a lot to say. Mm -hmm. and, and I think you should have the opportunity to, to say it as well. Uh, I'm not trying to set you up or anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know you have an opinion. I think you should be heard out. And then everyone else can be heard out as well. Mm -hmm. We can do this in a good way. You mm -hmm. want to do that? Um, I mean, I can if you want. I don't, it's up I don't to mind. you. Do you want that platform? Uh, I mean, I'm more here just to record. I mean, I guess I am talking, so maybe I should. Yeah, I will. No, actually, we're going to have Mona speak first. Okay. Okay, because we're in charge of this show. This is an indigenous I format. I don't okay? need to. And so he can it's okay. speak I don't need to. in just a little I don't need bit. To. Mona, come on up, please. We always have make room for you. No? So go away. Good morning. You're very nice. My name is Mona Jenkins, and I am on the steering committee for Matt. It's okay.